What's up guys? This is Adit from Tech is Easy and today I'm going to show you five of the best video editors for your Android phone. So earlier if you want to do a bit intensive video editing, you'd have to use your PC and use softwares like Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. But now there are so many apps that have come onto the Play Store that for different type of videos they have different apps. So if you want to make a YouTube video, they have an app for that. Then for short videos like Reels or YouTube Shorts, then even for slideshows, if you just want to make a compilation video, they have apps for all of these. So in this video I'm going to show you five of the best apps which you should use on your Android phone. So before we start, I just like to mention one point. All of these apps which I've chosen are completely free to download and most of them don't have a watermark. Some they may have a watermark, but you can just see a 10-20 second ad and then it'll be gone. So let's get started. So the first app I'm going to talk about is VN Video Editor. And most of the features and tools which you find on DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro, you'll find them on this app. So if you're someone who's edited before and you know the UI and the terminology is related to editing, then I really suggest you check out this app. So if you see the user interface, it's similar to that of what you'll find on your PC. So they have many layers. After that, at the bottom, they have tons of tools. So you can overlay a video, then they have a chroma key, so you can use a green screen with this. After that, you can zoom in, reverse. So this is a complete video editor and it has tons of tools. So if you're someone who's edited before and you want to do a bit intensive video editing, then I suggest that you go for VN Video Editor. So the second app is InShot Video Editor. So this is the video editor which I personally use when I'm editing on my phone. And this has many features similar to that to VN Editor. But if you see the UI of this, it's much simpler. So if you haven't done editing before and you want to get into it, then I suggest you use this app. So I'll just show you the UI. So over here you can see that it has a much simpler UI. So if you're a first timer, then I really suggest you use this. And again, you have many features like filters, then you can change the aspect ratio. So you have all of those features in this, but it may be a bit less as compared to VN Video Editor. So the third app is VLLO. And the biggest advantage of using this is that its UI is extremely clean and they rarely show ads. And I feel that a clean UI just makes the experience of video editing much better. So this is the biggest reason why I suggest you use this app. Other than that, this does have all of the usual features of a video editor, like speeding a video, reversing it, then various animations and filters. And you can also export the video at a high quality. The fourth app which I'm going to talk about is Photoplay. So this is mainly used as a slideshow. So if it's someone's birthday and you want to make a compilation of videos and photos, then this is really helpful for that. So you can see that this has an extremely simple UI and it also has many features. So you can change the background, music effect, then you can add stickers. So if you're someone who just wants to make a compilation of photos quickly and you also want to add transitions and music in the background, then I really suggest you get this app. The fifth app which I'm going to be talking about is Montage Pro. So the advantage of this is that it's a small app. So I think it's around 30 to 35 MB, but it has features which are similar to all of the other apps. So this app I feel is mainly used for short form videos, like editing a reel or making a YouTube short, then you can use this app. And the biggest advantage is the number of effects which they have and all of them are for free. So I'll just show you. So if I just click on add effect, you can just see the number of effects which you have. They also have a trending section. So if you want to make a reel or something like that, you can check it out. And like all the other video editors, it has tons of other features. So these are the five apps which I feel you should use depending on what type of video you want to edit. So I hope this video helped you. Goodbye.